Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my weekly Walmart clothing haul. And I'm also gonna share with you some other things I picked up at other stores. If you like that idea, let me know in the comments or I could just show Walmart stuff next week depending on the feedback I get from you guys. I also shopped in store a little and I shopped online and everything I got online is in the clearance. So really good deals and I made sure that they had lots of sizes and colors available. So if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with the haul. Okay, so the first thing I picked up in store was this top from No Boundaries. It comes with a mask, and I really like their mask, so that's why I wanted to try this one, but it's in microfiber, really super soft material. I can't remember if it comes in other colors. I don't think they had it in store, but online I might have saw it in other colors. It has wood look buttons down the middle. They're not real, it is like just for decoration. And it does have that elasticized top so you can wear it on or off the shoulders. I thought this was so pretty for spring and it's a nice lightweight material but if you're in a cooler climate you can layer it with a duster. Um, I think it'd be really cute with any kind of denim, dark, light, shorts, jeans. So lots of ways you can wear this, it's super soft. And I did size up to a large. I don't think you need to, it is a bigger cut for no boundaries, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more cozy. So that's why I sized up, but it is really soft and it's pretty affordable. It's $9.96. The next thing I got was in the kids department and it's just this tie-dye heart tee. I couldn't find any Valentine's tees in the women's, but I'll usually get in the girls' department, if I see something I like, I'll get an extra large. So I'm normally a medium. Um, I got wound up getting the extra, extra large. I think I just grabbed it by accident. So if you are a large and you can get the extra, extra large in kids, and it would be a pretty good fit, just like a regular um, fitted, like baby tea kind of style. But I thought this was really cute to layer for Valentine's with cardigan, denim jacket, leggings, jeans, lots of different things and fun and festive. And it's super, super affordable. It was $5.98. They did have one other print that I really liked. It had um, like candy hearts and sequins, but I, li I love tie dye, so I went for the tie dye one. And how much more wear can I get out of it? Valentine's is not too far away, but I think that's something you could wear anytime. The next thing I got is an online purchase and it's from the brand Scoop. So this doesn't tell me the price. I think it was about in the 20s, but it's on clearance for $13. I like I have this top is from them, so I wanted to get another couple tops from them just because they are really nice quality, super soft. And this, as nice as it is, like the material, you can wash and dry it. So I, I love like low maintenance pieces like that. So this also says machine wash, tumble dry. So you really can't beat that when it's this soft and pretty, um, but you can just throw it in the washing machine with everything else. So it does have a mock neck top with some ruffles and then a peplum style with elastic waist and elastic also on the wrist. I got my normal size medium. Um, I would say it is true to size. I think the scoop runs very true to size, so stick with whatever you normally get. Um, this, I feel like I might have even been able to get a large in, like under the arms feels small and that's something that bothers me. But for $13, I don't think you could beat it. You could really dress this up or down, black pants and a blazer for work or jeans and boots. So, and I love the gray with the black zebra print. I don't have a lot of zebra. And then the next top I also got is from them and it was $13. I didn't realize I got two of almost the same tops. The prints are just different. So this also has that same ruffle mock neck top. There is buttons on the back of both of them and they're fabric covered buttons, one button, and then a little keyhole back, which I don't love that. I don't love buttons on the back, but it's okay. It also has that peplum style waist and the little wrist. So this one, I think it does have a matching skirt. Um, 
I didn't love it that much, but that's what the floral print. So really pretty hot pink and yellow, really cute for Valentine's with jeans, or you can also wear black pants and a blazer with this, I think for work. Just a really easy top and for $13, I don't think you could beat that. Next thing I got is another pair of the Sophia jeans. And I did see these in store, but I didn't pay that much attention to the sizing. So I got my normal size six and I would say these run a little on the bigger end. So you could size down if you want really fitted. Um, but I think I don't mind them a little baggier because I think that's the cut that's supposed to be the style. So these are a shorter length and then they have a little flare at the bottom. There's some rips in both the legs and um, these do come in different colors the i really wanted the light with the ripped knees and that was sold out pretty much in all sizes but there is this color with there's solid so no rips and i think one other color the thing i don't like about these is there's a little eye on there i don't know why they have that it's something i don't really like on myself but you can easily take this off i locked so I know I could cut out like the seam and take it off. But I don't want to wear them with that eye. Which I feel like goes against like what I believe. But it's not a big deal if you don't care. It's whatever. So these are like $10.96. Really good price. And her jeans fit really nice. So I definitely recommend these. Just really good for spring with sandals. Even now with little booties. So these are be perfect when the weather gets warmer with that shorter length and then here is my first pair of scoop jeans in these I think were about $13 and I love these so they're a I would say they're it says they're stovepipe I'm not really sure what that means but they fit like a I would say like a like a mom jean they're very they're more of a looser fit in the leg they're not skinny but they're very on trend right now so i really like these these are probably my favorite thing in the whole haul i really wanted a light pair of denim like this they just feel really nice and i think these do run a little big as well but if you're bigger like in the bottom like me i would say get your normal size because i feel like out of everywhere that's where i have the least amount of room so i'm happy i got the size six in these. Let me see, did I get six? Yeah, I got the six in these. They're just a really nice pair of jeans. Nothing like I have. And that price is so good. And then the next thing I got online is this pullover from the brand Derek Hart. So the coloring on the website is really off. This is so much nicer in person. It has really nice gray tones and rust and olive it's really soft really plush in the medium and large it's seven dollars and change and then in the small it's like eight dollars and change but i don't think you could go wrong with it, it has a little pocket um it's a, it's a fake pocket so just a little decor piece but i've seen um i think rails has something similar to this for like 100 over 100 dollars so I thought this was really cute, really cozy, really warm and plush and super soft. I'm so impressed with this. Whoever takes their pictures sometimes, like the stuff looks so bad, but when you get it, it's so good. And then um, also in store, I got these earrings from No Boundaries. They're $3.88. But how cute are those for Valentine's? I really like them. They're like an iridescent, pretty lightweight, and I think for three eighty eight, you really can't beat it. And then I also got in store these earrings from Time and True, so I'm pretty sure I showed them on the shop with me. I um in one of my rock boxes, I got a pair of bar earrings, and I really like those. So that was like what initially drew me to them. And then this set right here is i've seen these in like a lot of boutique sites so i thought that was really good those are so pretty 
And then I like those two. These are the only pair, like the, that middle one is kind of discolored. They're just plain studs that I'm not crazy about, but everything else is really pretty. I love the little silver balls. So for 48, nine pairs, I probably won't wear that one. So for eight pairs of earrings, 48, I didn't think that was bad. Lots of really pretty, simple earrings. I know I'm gonna wear those. So that's it for the Walmart. Now I'll go into, I guess the stuff I got from Ross. That was in my shop with me yesterday. Okay, so the first thing I got in, from Ross is this little dog dress. It says, I think, Princess of Everything. But I got my, I have two dogs, and this is my only dog that will wear clothes. The other one doesn't really like clothes. So she got this little tutu. It's so cute. It was $4.99. And then um, she also got this little Valentine's dress. That dress was a medium. This one is a small. I think this one looked like it ran a little bigger. So this is from the brand Simply Wig. And I just thought that was so cute. And then um, we are going to have some warm weather next week. And all of my flip-flops and stuff like that are like messed up from last year. So I got this pair. I showed it in the shop with me. G by, G by Guess, I think is the brand. They were... I think these are $10 or $11, but I thought those little hearts were really cute. And they're just a rubber bottom, so like a faux leather top with the rubber bottom. So those are really comfortable, like easy to throw on with joggers for now or like shorts and stuff when it gets warmer. And then I also picked up this pair from Juicy Couture. So they have those rhinestones. These were $10.99. And they have that foam bottom as well, just with like rhinestones on the top, really just easy. And then I picked up these, were $11.99. I think I showed you guys me trying these on, but these are from the brand Bear Paw. They're so comfortable. I mean, they're not like the cutest things, but to throw on when you don't wanna wear like flats like that with jeans, they're gonna be covered. This is like walking on a cloud and they were only $11.99. So this top part, like right here, is really cushiony foam. And then here is just like a rubber bottom. They do have like a leather look, I guess, band. And then this, this top one has some kind of cutouts in there to make it look like, I guess, lace. But they were just really comfortable. And for $11.99, I, I looked online, these were selling for like 40 and 50 online. So I thought that was a good deal too. And then also from Ross, I picked up this Perlier body cream. I've wanted to try their stuff before, but on HSN, it's usually like 30 or $40. This was $4.99. So this is the white almond. I don't know if it's focusing. And, um, the smell on this, I opened it, I tried it today. It was, it's okay. It kind of reminds me of when you stay in like a really fancy hotel and they have like little lotions. That's what it smells like. Um, not my favorite. I like more fruity or clean scents, but this just has like that kind of smell to it. But I do feel like my legs are way more moisturized than when I use my normal Bath and Body Works. So... If I see more of these, I'll try other scents. This one's okay. I think for $5, you can't beat it. And I know I've seen this, these like little tubs for like over 30 on HSN. So I'm gonna be on the lookout at Ross's for the Perlier. And then another brand I wanted to try um, from HSN, it's kind of weird that I saw this because I was gonna buy the big liter of this for 30. It was like 29 ounces for $30. And it's the Coors Body Wash. So they have these for $3.99. And you get nine ounces. So if I buy three of these, that'll be equal. And that would be way less than the 30 I was going to spend. So I might go back and pick up some more of these. I didn't try this yet, but this is the Guava. And it smells really, really good. Really fruity and clean. And I'm very sensitive to smells. And I don't think this is going to bother me at all. 
I know they use really good ingredients too. So I'm excited to try that one. They had one for men. I, I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the shop with me. I posted yesterday. And um, that was, it smelled just like Burberry brick cologne for men. So that's it for the raw stuff. And then I ordered a couple things from HSN. Okay, the first thing that my only like jewelry piece that I got from HSN is from the brand Heidi Dows or Doss, I think. Let me see your name. But I thought these were so cute and fun, like my little Valentine's Day gift to myself. So they're little earrings, they're gold drops. And they're in the shape of hearts. So I thought these were so pretty. They're so sparkly and fun for all my little heart outfits. This is in the light amethyst color, but I think they, it looks like a baby pink. It doesn't look purple to me. So I guess that's the stones they use, but they're very pink. So here's both of them. They are a little on the heavy end, so I might have to wear like those lobe stickers on the back of my ears, but how pretty. They're so cute. And then the next thing I got from HSN, and I have to tell you guys, these, I'm so impressed with these. They're like $20, 22 $23, and they're jeans from the brand DG2. I'm not like really crazy about her jeans. Like some of them are a little like matronly for me, but these are so pretty for the price. They're, I will always like size down one in hers so they're not like baggy or frumpy looking. So I get the size four and I got them in the tall because they are like a shorter jean, but I might go back and get the black pair. So they, they're hand paint, painted or painted on flowers. I thought these were so pretty. They fit really nice. They're really stretchy and fitted, so they don't look like frumpy at all. And because I got the tall, they're long enough that they're not like cropped or anything, but there is a black pair with pink flowers or like purpley flowers, and I wanna get those. For $20, I really don't think you could beat these jeans. They're so pretty and unique. And you can just throw like a white tee on with these and flip flops or sandals or little booties and a white sweater, blue, pink, green. So lots of things you can mix and match with this and very easily and look like you have like a really put together outfit. And then the next thing I got from her, the same brand, are these jeans and I'm not that crazy about them. They kind of like have, these have an awkward fit and I size down to a four in these as well. But they, they're embroidered with that bird on there. She had a pair with um, a peacock like last year and I didn't get it and it wound up selling out. So when I saw these, I'm like, let me just try them. But I thought they're really pretty. Just another, I'm like a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl. So when I find jeans like this and you could just throw a tee and look like you have a completed outfit, it's just super easy. And these look really nice for the price. I think these were like 34. So to get embroidered jeans like this, I thought that was a really good deal. But they're not skinny. So the bottom is a little wider at the end. So I might just roll them up and wear them like with flip flops or sandals or tuck them into boots. So you can fold them and have them like that and not have like a bigger bottom, which I feel like skinnies are kind of going out soon which thanks because I really like skinny jeans. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.